All right, for this video, I'm a, I had a request to do um, safe area boundaries and kill area boundaries. And what they're, the safe areas are for roughly defining where you're going to have gameplay at. You, like, for this one, I'm just using the, the island for this part of the, the map. So I don't want people to be over there on the spire or in the Coliseum or even over there. I want them to just stay on this island. So you create like a rough outline of your where you want them to be using a safe area boundary which is right here. Um, and they are found in the spawning um, in spawning and then safe area boundaries. And then if you use a safe area boundary once the once the player leaves the the shape of this object this object it will um, they'll die and if you use a soft safe boundary um, that player will get a 10 second countdown until he dies which will give the that member the, that player 10 seconds to get back into an area that is uh, safe. So here is mine already set up with the on how big it is, on how tall it is, and it extends and you see like it doesn't um, have like right up against the edge of the, the island, it extends out to even over there. It's where it gives more freedom to the map to where they can even with no kill boundaries get even to a little bit over to there and all the way around and it'd be nearly impossible to where you get along that thing and to where you get like a perfect square um, like to where you get like a perfect circle around the map encompassing all of these random jig uh, jiggity edges and so that's the reason you use kill boundaries to also um, set the map to where it's more defined. And there's two types of these kill boundaries. Found right underneath the safe is um, kill boundary, which is the opposite of the safe. Which whenever the safe is whenever you leave it, the kill boundary is whenever the player enters it and the soft kill boundaries whenever the player enters it they get a 10 second countdown and like see I didn't want the player getting all the way up into there but I wanted to use part of this um, little land bridge right here so I have created um, kill boundaries circling uh, the map that are um, I think I made them eight and you make them um, there's been like uh, I've had like some reports that I read them that if you're in like a falcon or you're at like full speed evade with like 300 or 200 percent evade you can actually get through these kill boundaries because you're not in it long enough so you want to make it from what I'm told six so I just made it eight and once the player enters this they will die because those are hard kill boundaries and if you had um, like a soft kill boundary which so like um, hard kills are for like the edges of maps where you do not want them to go and like a soft kill boundary would be for up above like up here if you did not want the players to get up to here like if they had like a jetpack they could conceivably or probably definitely jetpack up on top of this dish which this dish even though it has like another dish in front of it is still a very good sniping position for a good portion of the map right so you want to make it to where they don't have like complete control over the map so you put one of these soft kill boundaries right up here on top of this map. Um, 
right up on top. Now I've found that whenever placing them and you want to have like a, a distinct bottom to it, you tip it over on its side 90 degrees and then you can actually see on where it actually goes through and you can see where the bottom is to where if a player jumps up into here they'll have 10 seconds to get out of it where if you have it like this you'll, it'll be hard to notice so so width would be going down now for this and we're gonna make it go about halfway down this dish and then the top would extend it actually um, not because it's tipped over it extend it in a little different of a direction but yeah you get the idea you want to cover this area right here like um, on top of buildings that you don't want them to control too much um, or even the entire top of the map if you don't want them to get as high as they possibly can to where they will be forced down or they'll die and I keep on having so there we go. So now this top half of the dish is now has a 10 second kill boundary on top of it to where if someone's up here for 10 seconds they'll die. And that's essentially in how you set up these kill boundaries. And these kill boundaries can be set up in any um, game type like um, like if it's basic editing or assault they can be set up in any of them.